what's going on YouTube welcome back to ya boy it's beautiful out here hell yeah brother I love it I like it I love it I want more of it probably get copyright strike for that crap anyways subscriber count versus video count man what the heck are you talking about well let's talk about it or let me talk about it and I'll tell you what I mean I gotta hit this trail. This is my favorite trail. a little bit of a steeper that little uh, pile of dirt was a kicker so what I mean by y'all already know what I mean by how many subscribers you have or how many followers you have but then I'm talking about uh, video count how many videos do you actually have on your channel and how many videos do you post and how often do you post them because yes even with my live streams I have about a thousand videos on my channel and they're all public not, not one's private not a single one's private and no I do not I have my because honestly live streams are all good and I'm all for doing live streams to help get your views up your likes up your comments your watch hours but the bad problem with that is nobody goes back to watch them so setting them to private for you only you to watch on any of your videos does nothing for you or your channel so I post once a week now every Wednesday if I can't post on Wednesday 
I'm gonna post on Tuesday or Thursday or wherever. Because there's weeks where I can't post a video because I'm working 12 days straight and on a couple of those days I'm working 10 to 15 hours a day so I won't be able to get to my computer to upload the videos that I have. So I try to post once a week and I try to post it in the morning if I can like I'm talking about before 12 o'clock noon Pacific Standard Time ah. so a person that has say a hundred subscribers but a thousand videos has probably just as much if not better chance of getting seen than somebody who's got a thousand subscribers and a hundred videos because if you have a thousand videos you have ten times the amount of videos than the guy with a hundred and you have that much more chance of getting your videos seen by somebody oh man I'm just tearing it up out here even though I'm kind of just cruising right now Thank God for a breeze, man. It's, it's hot when you sit still and it's hot when uh, there ain't no breeze. And it's only like 102 or something like that. I'm not even 100, I'm not even sure. But you feel it when, I'm, I definitely feel it sitting still. Ah, rocks. This is what I was saying earlier about trying to talk and motor vlog while riding a dirt bike. Got all these damn rocks that I gotta pay attention to. And rain ruts and bushes and all sorts of crap. Because sometimes with these damn rocks you can't see them. going against a headwind once I get into this wash I can actually moto vlog and ride faster all right here we go ah! That's why I like these sandy washes, man.
go figure in the singer tunnel there there's a stone burnt burnt up car dude Just like that, there was that rock, I didn't see it. Dude's dumping trash out here, dude, again. Fuck, dude. Don't worry, I'm packing too, so I ain't worried about it. the exact reason why I get like people like us that ride dirt bikes get in trouble so any law enforcement that y'all see me out here doing this shit riding dirt bikes y'all better leave me the hell alone dude I'm sick of me getting like us getting the consequences for not doing shit wrong like I'm straight up sick of it dude And the sad thing is, is there's two of them and there's only one of me. are they gonna be out here in a truck with a trailer that's empty right now <laughs> white dodge 1500 Maybe not. Right. See if I can't get in front of them and try to get their license plate and shit. This is now the second time I've caught somebody dumping trash out here and I'm getting sick of this shit real quick.
a Ford Ranger. Dude's definitely dumping trash out here. I don't know how well I caught them on camera, but I'm gonna tell you what, I'm sick of this shit. all this trash dude like this is a reason why y'all best keep on fucking going dog It's all good, I don't have to be the one to chase them down, dude. Cause they'll have to answer to somebody at some point. And if I chase them down, then I'm no better than they are, cause... Yeah. Stolen car wheels, stolen motorcycle wheels. It looks like they got stuck right here too. Yeah. They had the back up and you know, piece of the shit. It pisses me off so damn bad. I can't come out here without people dumping trash. That's now twice. And every time I come out here, there's more and more and more trash. Every single time, dude. Gosh, damn. The one thing that irritates me enough to do some bad things to those people and I can't. Because I'm not willing to pay the consequences for my actions. For doing what I want to do. To those kinds of people. And it's not fair dude. I mean I know life ain't fair but fuck. The sad thing is that one there's that building right there in house and I can't let off a couple rounds like I want. But I know where I can go though. <laughs> There you go. Even more trash. More trash. More trash. Huh. 
kind of nice to find one of those drum things that are already outside of the uh, thing. I think I'm gonna call it a day, man, cause like... Started off with me getting a flat tire today on the front. Having to sit at the bike shop for an hour and a half. Getting the new tire and, and two put on. And then seeing those guys right now, man, like... Dumping that trash and shit. Kind of put me in a bad mood, man. It's almost not enjoyable anymore, dude, because just because of how all the people dumping trash out here, and I want to clean up this desert so bad. I just don't have the time, the money, or the resources to do it. I'm sick and tired of seeing my, there's this a stolen car under there. And I'm so sick and tired of seeing my trails in my desert that I grew up in. Grew up riding dirt bikes. I'm tired of seeing this place getting trashed. Uh. Like there's nowhere, almost nowhere I can go out here without seeing trash anymore, dude. It's the most frustrating thing ever. And that's why I like OHV parks. Off highway vehicle parks, man. Cause, and I don't care if I have to pay to use them. At least the only thing I'm really gonna see is maybe other people enjoying the desert and or nature and their tire tracks and that's about it. why I'm gonna quit riding for the day is because I'm not in the right headspace anymore and I know if I'm not in the right headspace to, to ride my dirt bike that's bound to get me hurt and I don't want to do that so I'm being smart enough to not Hard enough to know when to call it quits for riding for the day before I get myself hurt.
too, Luke, haven't I? See, I can't even come up here without... Uh, uh, man, life is beautiful, man, and nature is beautiful. It's just people that are trash half the time. down that would not be a bad idea but going up it I think I'm good uh, put it down the first that's how you do a turn your bike around trying to do watch out lizard that's how you get through soft sand and there's a little speed just Flapping around. Uh. Uh. All right, Joe. Catch you guys on the lake next one.